So welcome back guys to another video of Scratch Tutorial. Today we'll be making a game called Spiralizer. It's not really a game, more like a project. So um, this is from a book. You can check out the book in our description below. Okay, so how you so the default angle and speed is four, seven four. It just makes a cool effect of a spinning spiral. You can play with it. You can make the speed more. You can change the angle. Yeah can play with it I guess so without further ado let's hop on to the video let's make a new project first of all let's rename this to spiralizer Sorry. okay so spiralizer I spelled that wrong I think okay no okay spiralizer okay so first we need to make some variables one called angle and the other one called speed so you have angle and speed you can uh, double click on this to make it the drag and double click on this to make it the drag because you need to you need to be able to drag them I'm um, trying to position it okay there you go so angle and speed so after that we need we can delete the scratch cat. Let's make a backdrop. Just get a black square. That's what I did on the backdrop. Just get a black square square tool. And just drag. Like this big. Center. Okay, so it's centered. That's the backdrop. So now let's go get a sprite. We want the ball sprite ball this one so this is the one that spiralizes around make changing the color effect so we want to when clicked we want to set the angle and speed to the default default angle and speed so the default angle I would put at 7 and the default speed I would put at 4 Okay, so you want to set the size to 30% so it's smaller. Set size to 30%. And you want it to go to the center, 0, 0. Go to 0, 0. Okay. So you want to erase all of the pen effects in the beginning. We need the pen. So if you don't have a pen, just add the extension. It's going to be right here. I already have it here. So you want to erase all in the beginning. Set the pen size to one and pen down. So this will be like a the color that comes out. So you need a forever loop. Forever create a clone of myself. So it just keep on making duplicates of itself and turn turn to Turn to the right angle degrees. So how much, how, whatever number your angle is, that's how much it'll turn. So let's say your angle is seven, it'll, it'll turn seven. If your angle is 90, it'll turn 90 degrees. See, the ball's spinning accordingly to the angle. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see it a little bit. So yeah. So now we work. And then now, finally, we put change pen size, pen color, sorry, change pen color by one. So it'll make different colors. So right now we have this, the spinning, the angle. So next we'll be making the speed. So we need uh, control, go to control, get when I start as a clone. Get a when I start as a clone. Um, get a forever loop. Drag a forever loop under here. Then move speed steps. So it'll move how much speed it is. So if it's four, then it'll move four steps. If it's 80, 80 speed, then it'll move 80 steps. So move speed steps. So go get the move 10 steps. Where's it? Oh yeah, up here. Move speed steps. 
and then, and then you need if then statement if then touching the edge then it'll delete the clone touching the edge then delete the clone delete this clone and then finally this is optional but i would recommend adding it when key space is pressed erase all so you can erase everything if you press the space bar and delete this clone so delete all the clones in the background so that's it it's pretty simple so let's play it see it's spinning it's pretty cool change the speed goes faster change the angle it'll spin faster yeah it's a pretty cool effect you know and if you put it at zero speed zero angle it would not do anything Okay, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel. Ring the notification bell to receive all our latest updates. And thank you for watching.